Hello everybody, it's Fred Hassan with Sit Mean Sit Dog Training and our video for the day. Hey it's Fred Hassan with Sit Mean Sit Dog Training and our video for the day. Today we're over here at the Scent Logics booth and at the end of this video I will put a link to one of our videos where we were actually using their product. But we have with us today David Adabempe who is the founder of Scent Logics. How's it going there, David? I'm fine. How are you doing? Good, nice good. Job. Um, so what exactly is Scent Logics? Well, Scent Logics is a suite of training aids that are scientifically designed for canine use to enhance their capacity to detect illicit and hazardous materials such as um, explosives and narcotics. I think what David just said was fake weed. That's what he's trying to say here. Um, well, in, in a sense, yes. It, it's um, fake materials, however the odor is parent odor. It's the same odor as you would find in the real substances, only that in this case they are non-hazardous and they are non-illicit. David, the, the, the next question is just a, is, is a normal question. Why use this instead of the real thing? I mean, I know people that certainly prefer real weed over fake weed. I think the dogs would be the same way, no? Well, um, as far as human use is concerned, um, uh, one really needs something like a DEA license to use the real thing uh, when it comes to narcotics and an ATF license to use the real thing when it comes to explosives. However, although one might have an ATF license, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can use it anywhere you want. You still cannot use them within civilian environments and you can't use them within the populated areas. So there are still a lot of restrictions. Another example is that you can't use them when there are thunderstorms. So although the real things might be available, but the, the, the accessibility for use um, is not as widespread claimed as um, uh, widespread as you might think. When it also comes to narcotics, of course you need a DEA license for that. But then there is a question of purity. Of course, the DA would tell you it's 80% pure or 90% pure. But is this pure enough for the canine to use to be able to detect these materials? And I say not. Pure, exp um, pure narcotics are needed, and chemically formulated training aids, such as those provided by Synologics, gives you 100% of these pure odors. Another, another reason why one might use a chemically formulated training aid such as those provided by Synologics in contrast um, to, the, to, to the real thing is in terms of volume. You chemically, um, Synologics aids um, represent over 800 pounds um, of explosives or narcotics and these due to our chemical formulations we're able to formulate the scent equivalent of 800 pounds of explosives or narcotics into a scent kit. Now, this provides um, canine handlers and trainers with an opportunity to use, um, to have a wide range of odors that they can use to train so that these canines, at the end of the day, could detect both large and small amounts of explosives or narcotics. If one trains with a pound of explosives or a pound of narcotics, it's still difficult for our canines to be able to detect a thousand pounds of explosives or a thousand pounds of narcotics. Now, this inability is solved by using our training aids Without with training with canines being trained on scent logics, canines are able to find amounts from one gram to a gazillion pounds of either explosives or narcotics. Okay, David, I, I know what you're talking about the DEA license because it certainly opens up the world for people like myself because I don't have a DEA license and yet you know we use your products. So, what other type of trainers find your products useful? Well, the good thing about Saint Logics is that due to our patented formulation process and our expertise in both formulation and olfaction science, our training aids are actually better than the real thing. They are purer and they provide a lot more scent tendrils that you would find using the real thing. Um, over the last year that our company um, started, we've had a wide range of people now using our products in contrast to the real ones. Actually, um, our list of customers also includes the DEA, and we have um, people like the Special Forces, the Navy SEALs, and a wide range of police departments, sheriff's departments, fire departments, and private um, canine training centers from all over the world. Our customers range from places as far as India, Australia, the United Kingdom, Germany, Sweden, to a lot of areas in the United States, Canada, and South America, like Peru. Heck, if the DEA is using it, it must be working, that's for sure. 
Okay, David, there's a lot of people out there that just think it's, you know, pretty cool to be able to go and find things and have your dog search for things, and, and they might not have a DEA license. So let's just say the average person saw this and came to your website, wanted to buy some of this. Is, is there a way that, that you show them how to, how to train this and how to do this? Is there a way that that information, do you provide that information? Most certainly, yes. Um, we do accept calls from trainers um, to find ways in which to use um, our products. Um, um, there are versatile ways of using it. Um, all the information about normal use um, is provided on our website at www.sendlogics.com. Um, actually, um, we do recommend some training ways where you could actually just insert it in your own normal training pad. Um, this was what was done by um, uh, companies such as um, North Iowa Canine, uh, where they train their canines um, on our St. Logic's narcotics. And um, these two, the two canines they, that they trained eventually became the first place and second place winners in the 2009 USPCA um, top dog competition in narcotics detection. So you invented this stuff, huh? I mean, I guess you would have, like, passed your second grade chemistry test or something <laughs> to invent this stuff. Most certainly, yes. Um, it, it took um, what I call convergent science to be able to invent this stuff. And I guess maybe that's why um, there haven't been training aids like this um, ever produced before. There have been attempts to make um, training aids for canine detection. Um, however, um, they have not been that successful. In fact, they've been that unsuccessful that the word pseudo is a word that is avoided within the canine community. Um, it's, a, it's a word people cringe on, it's a word it's, that people try to avoid, but um, with our knowledge of um, biological detection, olfaction science, formulation science, analytical chemistry, we've been able to combine all these um, areas of expertise into the creation of these training aids, and uh, of course they are better than the real thing. Seeing is believing, you could ask those that have used it. We are ha very happy to provide this to you, Fred, and to the rest of the canine um, community. Um, to, ex to expand um, their training opportunities. Okay, thanks a lot, David. You provide a great service and certainly helping all over the world and catching criminals. And, and uh, well, I guess we'll see you here at the uh, Law Dog again next year. Well, you provide the same service too, Fred. Thanks a lot. Okay, so until tomorrow, sit means sit. So until tomorrow, sit means sit.